Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. In today's episode, we're going to start to carve some foam to form our hillside. And then we're going to build some brick foundations for some future structures that will go into the side of the hill. All right, well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. I do want to mention that I'm kind of jumping the gun on this. I need to get this raised up about a foot and then put my fascia on it. Uh, but I'm going to start to carve some styrofoam and I can always remove everything and raise it up. Then put my styrofoam back on there and start. we'll start then to get into detailing the rock. Okay, so let's dive into trying to figure out where our land is going to be and we're going to carve it out of foam so the first thing we want to do is take a black marker and figure out sort of a, a rough estimate of where the land is actually going to be we're going to trace around this building because that really gets cut right into the foam, right into the side of the uh, cliff. Okay, then we got to kind of guess here. We're going to come across at an angle. Come across here. And then we'll draw this over here. Um, let's see, I'll have that come back. Okay, now we'll remove these and maybe first do a paper stencil to finalize it more where we want it exactly and then transfer that to the styrofoam and cut it out. Okay, so we're gonna have to try to figure out where our line is. Okay, now we'll just simply trace it. Okay, so I just have this uh, blade that I use and it has a fine tooth. And uh, I'll get out my shop back after I'm done with this. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna glue rock to the front of this and carve into it so we're just getting a general shape okay that wasn't so bad uh, i'll get my shop back now and get all this vacuumed up okay i thought before i get the vacuum out um i may cut some more foam I know this sits right back in there. It's, I'm trying to guess because that gets sunk down in there. Okay, so it might be kind of hard to show you this part. I don't know if this just looks, if you can see the, the two levels. But the first level drops down to right there. Now, I want this, from this point here, to start to go downhill. 
And then same with this. Uh, maybe start here and also have that. So all of this kind of slopes down. But we have a building that sits right here. Um, and I want that road. I want another road to come up and go uphill behind it up to this level. So we want to draw that road. We'll move all this and do some more cutting. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this. And you can see it goes out really far. So first, we'll cut down. Okay, so now we've got our basic shape cut. And you can see we're starting to get different levels and some angles. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. We may still have to carve away some of the styrofoam to allow for the thickness of the uh, plaster for the rock molds. But this is a good start. So we have a road through here that will be cobblestone it goes uphill there's a path through here just for pedestrians and that too will be cobblestone and then it angles down and then angles uphill again this is not the structure that will be there um, I have a FOSS scale kit uh, that's going to go there so i made these brick um, foundations based on the footprints of the structures that are going to sit there now this structure here will have to be scratch built and these are all just wood This one came from the brick, came from Casey's workshop, and these came from Monster Model Works. I wanted to take a moment and show you my layout room. So it is 23 feet long and 15 feet wide there's a three foot wide door that you enter into this area here is the area that we've been working on for the past year i have a closet right here that i want to leave for resale value um, the new section that we're working on is right here. And again, there's a small closet area behind it. Now you'll notice I have two squares here in the center. These will be on wheels. And this one here is two and a half feet by two and a half feet square. And it will be the same height as the rest of the layout. And because it's on wheels, I can wheel it in front of anywhere and use it for photography. It may just be water with a few boats on it. It may have land on one side. But it's simply for photography. Same with this one over here. Now this one's longer because it can be wheeled over and put right in front of the window right here. It can be turned sideways and put right here. It can be put right here and it's simply for photography. Now this may just be 
one road that goes across in the center over maybe a, a large bridge because I have a road that ends right here and will pick up again over on this side just for cars so I can turn this wheel it right in here and have that connect I can also wheel it right here and have a road that ends here and picks up again on this side and that will just fit in simply for photography same here just have to make sure I have a road that ends right here and picks up again over on this side now these also you'll notice have X's on them they are two on wheels so everything that has an X is on wheels so they can all be moved and used in different locations for photography. Um, my workshop is off in this direction. So if I'm working on a large project, I can move all these over into this area and open up all this space for me. So really the only area that will have track is this area right here. These may have track on them, but it will not connect to the main layout. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you that quick and show you um, that's my plan so far. You know, originally it was just going to be this right here. Uh, then I started building uh, the new section over here and then got the idea that maybe I could do some more over here. Uh, but basically this is as big as it's ever going to be. Um, I don't want to work any further this direction and get into my shop. So I'm sticking with 23 feet long and 15 feet wide and again everything that has an X is on wheels uh, so that it can be moved around for photography so this maybe this section right here can be turned put up against here and take this one that has maybe just water put it in front of it and photograph it from this angle um, there it's just an endless amount of possibilities with being able to move these around for photography okay for the small foundation up on the very top of the hill we are using a FOSS scale kit from the kit of the month Um, it is Hatter Feed. It was the September kit from 2019. So that will sit right on top of that foundation. For our next foundation, right down the hill from it, we're going to use another FOSS scale kit. So the double doors right in the front will be right over the top of the double doors right here. This is a great kit, um, very unique, just like most FOSS scale kits. You can see very unique 
um, roof lines. I love the little jet out from the side. So that'll sit right on top of this. So these two kits will probably get built just like they're shown in the picture, but I will definitely be changing the name of the structures and changing the colors. Now, as you can see, the next one, I already have it completed. And for the top of this, I used a Foss scale kit. It is the one of the kit of the months. It was the February kit and it is a pool hall. The bottom is laser cut wood brick from Casey's workshop. And the shingles are also from Casey's workshop. The signs are from doing a Google search for vintage signs. And then I just drag them onto the desktop, resize them, print them out on normal printer paper, copy paper, and weathered them. And the decking and the railing is wood from Northeastern scale lumber. I still have some details, uh, some chimney, maybe a, a straight smokestack pipe. Um, I have some birds that I'll put up on there. I wanted to point out that I had to board up that window right there because I took that window turned it sideways and used it right there in the front this door and this door over here were extra doors from a kit I believe from Carolina craftsman kits All right, well, let's take this over and see what it looks like on the lake. Okay, well, here's what the new structure looks like on the layout. Real quick, I did want to point out how I am placing the structures and I'm constantly getting down low and seeing how it's going to photograph so you can see the new structure is placed in between these two then the building that goes here which will be a two-story on top of that which will make it like three stories is in between these two. And then we have that tall one in the background, which is in between these two. So I'm keeping them staggered. And then you'll see the row behind it, instead of having that, say, directly behind it, at the same exact angle, I turned it slightly and moved it over.
So I'm constantly trying to see what it's going to look like or imagine what it's going to look like when it's photographed. And I want everything to go uphill. So everything just gets taller and taller the further back it goes. And then this will be our lighthouse. And that is a kit from Carolina Craftsman Kits. And we'll get to that in a, another video. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is the section that I've been working on for the past year. You'll notice I have my bridge taken out just so that I can get back in there. All right, well, we got a lot accomplished in today's video. I'm excited about the uh, future videos that I have planned for you. We're going to be adding 
rock and dirt and vegetation to make this look as real as possible. And then we'll be adding water in the front and texturing it. So there's a lot of videos planned. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, like always. Uh, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from all of you. All right, well, until next time, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.